Welcome to Snowdonia! Welcome to Snowdonia! Welcome to Snowdonia! This is Christian! We've got Tal, we've got Jello in the back. We are on a road trip around the UK and we have just arrived in Kwadididmanamaningamanarog! I'm just waking up right now if I'm honest. I've been sleeping in the car for a couple of hours. I'm feeling a little bit drowsy. But woken up in paradise. You probably can't even hear me too well because we've got the sound of nature in the background. We've got a brabbling brook. Isn't it babbling? I don't know. Babbling brook? I'm not English. I don't know. This vlog, I'm gonna be showing you around what we're doing in Snowdonia. We're only here for the night and tomorrow morning. So, yeah, let's see what we get up to. <sighs> This is like a natural state for this boy. And this is a natural state for this boy. <laughs> this is this is actually generally what I deal with just the whole time. <laughs> Light strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. I spend a lifetime figure out how to chase my blues away. Can you hear this? This is Welsh radio. This is what Welsh actually sounds like. It's exactly as we expected. Nailed it. Fluent already. We are now directly on our way to Conwy, which is where our YHA hostel is for the evening. I think it's going to take us about an hour to get there, um, but we're just going to get there and then we're going to see what's the what in Snowdonia. Snowdonia. Welcome to Snowdonia. I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes. Today. No, because you're not at, at disabled. Least, at, at least today. Well, sometimes you act disabled, <laughs> but you're not actually disabled, so don't park in the disabled parking space. Guys, we have arrived at our YHA in Conwy. We're just about to go check in before we have dinner. In your eyes, no disguise, one day. Ooh. Oh, nice and spacious. Oh my God, we all got our personal Ooh. plugs. We all got personal lights. The guy at reception just told us that they had this observatory deck with 360 degree views apart from that building. But even in there, this is a really nice place to go and do some work. There's like a seating area. There's some boys doing some high fives. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what's in there. But oh, yeah. how cool is this? This is definitely the nicest, well actually, Hmm. I want to retract my statement. I was about to say, this is definitely the nicest YHA we've been so far, but all of them have been absolutely beautiful and very different. This one's definitely the biggest, I'd say. Maybe apart from Bristol. Hmm, I don't know. Oh God, I'm really bad at comparisons. There's a beautiful view of the city over there. We've got the mountains over here. I've never known a hostel to have an observatory deck before. What a cool idea. Good morning, everybody from a rather um, fresh Conway. My hair, uh, I was supposed to wash this morning, but um, I, I slept in, so I didn't. And so I've just like tried to scrape it back. We've gone for the wet look, but really it's just the greasy look, but that's fine because all we're doing today is hiking and driving, which will be fun. I've organized a hike for us in Snowdonia National Park, somewhere near Conway. Hopefully it will actually go to plan this time as opposed to being an absolute fail like in Exmoor. Fingers crossed for that one. But first, cartwheels. I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes. We thought we would explore the town of Conway before 
before we leave because it's actually really really cool it seems to be surrounded by this castle like as a sort of barrier to the outsiders looking after Conwy. <laughs> kind old lady just told us that so you do have to pay to get into Conwy Castle but you don't have to pay just to walk around the kind of castle walls which surround the whole town what a view ah oh, Conwy all right we are inside the castle ground Conway Castle is actually about 750 years old. So it's very, very old. It only took four years to make, which surprised me quite a lot. I would have thought it would take longer than that considering the size of it. And it only cost them 15,000 pounds at the time. I could have bought that, but that actually translates. So from 1283, which is when I think it was completed, 15,000 pounds. Nowadays, that's 45 million pounds. So, you know, quite a significant difference in price. This is absolutely incredible. Very, very different from the castle that we were at um, the other day in Caerphilly. Very different. This one seems a lot older and a lot more ancient and a lot bigger, actually. Goodness, how cool is this? The trains literally go through the castle. Oh my goodness, Tal just got his drone out again, of course, and the most epic shots. Like, this castle is seriously amazing. I'm gonna show you these shots now. One day, I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes. Thanks for those drone shots, Tal. Dude, this has been incredible. You're a talented man. Hey, that's guys, what I'm here for. make sure you go and subscribe to this guy because, well, and this guy too. Both of them have drones and both of them are very talented. Oh, I'm jello. You gotta have I, just, a drone. I definitely just put you in second place there. <laughs> that was so Oh, no. That was Obviously, so mean I'm in second me. place. I'm a little, little, little boy. No. And Some seriously talented filmmaking going along here. Unfortunately, I have not inherited these drone skills. I've never had them. <laughs> I've always been quite terrible. If you'd like to watch the story of my drone, click up here. Take a stand, move your hand someday. All right, we have set off on our Snowdonia hike. Not doing Mount Snowdon. I know I said on my first video, I was like, I'm sure the boys will be up for Mount Snowdon. And to be fair, we probably would climb it if we had time, but we don't. We only have a few hours, so we've chosen a slightly smaller hike and we've just set off. We won't have stuff in there. Oh Let God, we're not gonna way. get anywhere. <laughs> This boy is obsessed with sheep, absolutely obsessed, and he will stop at any opportunity. And of course, we are in Wales, of course there's gonna be loads of sheep. Oh my God, all these cows are walking towards us. I don't know if they think that we're like gonna feed them, we definitely don't have food for them. Like there's grass on the floor, guys. Oh gosh, oh what's happening? Are you protecting your land? Oh gosh, they're all looking. Oh gosh, I don't really know what to do right now. Oh god, oh my. Oh. What's happened? I'm Any so scared, I don't know what to do. Any idea what just happened? No. If you uh, understand <laughs> Is that the burial chamber? It says, Walk across the next foot to reach the burial chamber, which is ringed by fencing, and that's ringed by fencing over well, they're there. They're coming back towards us. <laughs> oh god! A notice says that this that it was erected in the later. Let's slowly walk yeah. away. Oh my god! They're coming closer. Oh my god! Oh, I'm really minutes. scared. I'm actually quite scared for my life. Don't, don't be scared. They're coming. They're coming. They're right there. I see them. Oh. oh my god, they're still coming. 
go. Let me out of here. What's happening right now? What? What is this? I don't know. I just got bullied by cows. <laughs> <laughs> I think they think that we're gonna feed them. I think so too. Let me try to get close to them. Here, huh? I'm so confused. What do they want from us? And what do you want? <laughs> Quieting down. All right, um, take take two in the same field. The cows are, have stayed over there. They're kind of watching us like, what are they doing? But they seem to be staying put. So I feel like we can walk across this field. Are we going into I bet there's some like farmer viewers out there who are probably watching me and laughing their heads off. Like, no, they're not after there to attack you. They're only doing this, that and the other. But I'm not used to farms. I'm not used to big farm animals and they're quite scary to me and I don't know what their actions mean. And I'm just following the guide of what this book said. I don't know what I'm doing. In your eyes, no disguise, one day I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your After all of the commotion with those cows, we're finally on a nice path where there's only humans and this walk is absolutely beautiful. Tal's just back there flying his drone again, of course, but we love him for it and this is some of his footage. Tal has literally just asked for green tea with milk. Green tea with milk. He said he'd like to try it and I said that's not a thing and he said I'd like to try it anyway. So let's see what he thinks about that. Ooh, we got some mm, grade A milk. It's just white. It's just white now. Oh gosh, it just looks like milk. It just looks like milk. With water. Because I don't think you even gave your time green tea time to brew before you poured it. You know what it tastes like? What? Have you ever had a Turkish Delight? No, I don't really eat them, I don't like them, but... It kind of tastes exactly like a Turkish Delight. Right. It's not bad at all. I am so confused at your ways. They did not go light on the brie. Gosh, very generous. Tal has got a Welsh cake since we are in Wales. So let's see what his reactions on the classic Welsh cake are. That's good. That is a good piece of cake. What does it taste like? It's like fruit cake with cinnamon and berries. Lovely. It would be rude to go to the Conway Falls Cafe and not visit Conway Falls. And so we've just walked down now and there's loads of falls around actually. I'm not entirely sure which one is the specific falls itself. Take your time, fall in line someday. It's so this is Jello's stance for letting go of a drone. Okay, there it goes. a little bit late because it takes us so long to do everything but we've decided to take an extra half hour to do a diversion to Fairy Glen because it looks absolutely beautiful and we're intrigued. We just reached Fairy Glen, it's absolutely beautiful and we just found some ITV filming crew here. Oh, they're filming for ITV, how cool is that? Over there you can see a towel in the wild of Fairy Glen in his natural habitat talking to the camera. Your camera is not quite as impressive, Tal. Yeah, check out this Sony compared to this Sony. It's not that big of a difference. No, not, not that big. I am very sweaty as we make the steep incline. I don't know if you can see the boys up there. It's very dark. 
the steep incline back up to uh, where we parked the car. Well, what a day we've had. I'm super, super sweaty. We just made it back to our car, which we named Stacy, by the way. I don't think I've told the vlog that. I'm gonna be ending this daily vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go subscribe to these two Hi. sexy beasts if you haven't already. And watch, oh, I just gave you a compliment. <laughs> and um, watch their daily vlogs on this series if you want another perspective of the trip, because we're all, I feel like we're all making videos that are like actually quite different, even though we're all doing exactly the same thing. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed this daily vlog. Vlog. Hope you've enjoyed Snowdonia and subscribe. I will see you subscribe and I will see you in the next video in the Peak District. Goodbye!